we're out for a walk and we've got our newest things on boys show everyone they've got little gps now so anywhere they go if they get lost we can track them the whole of the world it's worldwide gps seemingly not that they will ever be <laughs> allowed to be no, but if it also lets you know in our house that if they go out the garden or anything for any reason. That's where we're in front. And we have this, th these harnesses for it to go on. And we also have the um, collars which are flash and neon. And they fit Ricardo. Right, I tried it on <laughs> Ricardo. <laughs> oh, so this is just around the corner from our house. We're going to the little, um, the little supermarket. It's a nice little road in Southport. This is more kind of the Southport style of a lot of the properties will be this kind of style, Victorian. But yeah, it's nice and quiet everywhere, lots of places to walk and little things. And to be honest, this time I've been back, it's Southport oh, was a bit, there. yeah, it's calmer. Southport had a bit of a funny energy. Um, and if you want to live in Southport, in that nice house there, go to Northwood and talk to them. But yeah, it's, it's feeling good at the moment. And as Ricardo said, there's lots of dogs because people did a lot of dog getting after lockdown. I've been informed. So this is a further section. So this is kind of really where Southport Town Centre would be that way. This starts to go into a smaller area called Birkdale. <laughs> Little boys. I don't know how they're going to get integrate back to France. It's, Ying and Yang, because France have got the big garden to zoom, but England they've got lots of walks and all these interesting smells a lot more. Yeah, they can smell all the other dogs. Yeah, France, it's cows and uh, foxes and well, deers. They smell their own pee. <laughs> oh, and each of the. That's nice. And what did what just happened to us? We were walking out the house, and a neighbour went YouTube. So, hello if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> you actually live in the old house when I was born. Mum owned that house, which was two doors down from the one we're in now. Because oh, this one was my auntie's. So, yeah, I've lived in the house he lives in. He was saying it was weird to see us filming going to Ling's. He's like watching, I mean, something that he does. So, that was pretty cool. And someone's built a little house in their garden here, like an annex, which is nice. Maybe for parents or something. Well, it's an old garage. It was an old garage. No, darling, it's, it's got flowers in the window. There's people living in there. Daisy. So there's Daisy roots on the side. <laughs> darling, it's not. <laughs> Ricardo came from the world of big, big homes. <laughs> this is how people live. But it's lovely. It's lovely and calm and quiet and coolish. Some people have said that when they were younger, they used to come to Southport. Yeah. Because it was all there. Uh, well, yeah, it's, yeah. Southport is going to be in five years back in its heyday because there's so many developments that have just been passed and restoring all the old buildings, adding... There's about four or five big 100-plus room hotels. They're redoing all the theatre and conference centre. But we'll do a tour of that, actually, all the new things that are coming to Southport. Yeah, and also... That's a good video. People like that. Already transforming to really cool bars. I think yeah. he's done a lot for Southport. That one at that end? Yeah. Someone's doing it at the other end now. It may even be him. I think so. It's this same. gentleman. Yeah, it looks kind of like the same ethos. But the, the one that's by us, um, opposite us, is going to have a theatre in and the building rooms for the acts. So I guess Southport used to have acts that you would come and... Um, the, the, the group of people would stay for a whole season and do different shows every few weeks yeah. and I think they're going to do that again where you'll be able to pay to come and stay in the hotel you'll get your show, your meals in the a spa, rooftop pool and so it's very exciting but we'll take everyone around that and they can have a look in the next few days Yeah. and Ricardo's off to Sheffield to see the stainless steel and scissor making and all this kind of stuff so keep abreast for that, that's Yorkshire. If you're interested. Or if you're interested. Or if you just want to look at Ricardo's pretty face. Someone said that they're into yarn. I don't know if there's anything about that. I think they want to put Yarn? Yeah. What's yarn? Yarn. Well, like wool? Yeah. Well, Barbara does uh, cross stitch. Carrie does cross stitch, or whatever it's called. Rug making, pattern making. 
I don't know. Anyway, off to the shop and we'll catch up with you in a bit. So we're here again. We're at lunch and we've got bao buns and they don't normally open for lunch, so a special treat. YouTube regular carry is now back from France with Mama <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> but look at the wonderful... Beautiful. This is just the starters. And the sea bass has arrived. And the scallops. And the yummy. So... And the fillet um, We've, we've uh, tonight. He's at it again. He's at it again. No, I'm not going. A play. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so here we are at the other end of Marine Lake. I don't know if you've seen the other video when I'm with the dogs. We're on the other side. Uh, there's 140 acres of purpose built. It was built in the 19th century to provide uh, for the boats to dock here when it was low tide. Um, but now we have all different types of water activities and you know, at the other end, um, you see this is some of the houses here. Um, so at the other end, you have pleasure land, which is quite big for the for the kids. You have the king's gardens, and down there, uh, that's the smallest pub in England. It's a tiny little pub. It's quite cool. Their pies are really good as well. Uh, so yeah, as it seems, that's the convention center. But it seems they're gonna tear it down and build something different. That's what Andrew was saying about that. Five years, sophomore's gonna be back to uh, it's all the heyday. Um, cause yeah, cause a lot of them on North Street, they used to have big names, you know, people used to come to Southport to shop. Um, and all the rich people used to have here cause for the seer, you know, as a remedy. Uh, usually the there's more swans on this side, but you can see them down there. Those are the swans. That's the church there, big side church. And then you have all over there you can go walking, and behind that is all the marshland and the beach. Um, yeah, originally I was reading somewhere like of how important marshland is for our ecosystem like around the world. So, so yeah, we have some of it here in Southport. 